got to be a 1k G amongst all this. Let's hope this brings me some luck. Bring me some KGs. This feels good. Oh, whew, I love it. If that's the case, here you go, KGs. <laughs> whew, I love it. Let's catch Australia's favourite fish tucker. I'm actually going to stop a bit closer, but try and get a big calamari. The squid, the squid right here. Oh. Right, oh. Plonk it out. So I'm just going to plonk a plate down here. You can see there's a hole, sand and weed around the place. It is KG territory whether there's a couple here or not. Who's to know? Oh, here we go. First fish of the day. Beautiful red mullet. Now, they are delicious. I actually had some last night on the previous trip from the weekend. Absolutely, really nice fish. Red mullet or the goat fish. Whoop. What? I had to put a heavier squid jig. Just not in the mood to put this sea anchor out, so I'm just just exploring this area here. So that spot wasn't really producing, so I'll get to my normal place. Try again. Got my squid jig overboard. Just the usual. Straight away, I've already got this set up. Bait on. Right, so I've got a hook up here. First fish of the day. What is he? Oh, it's a nice whiting. Really nice whiting. Whew. I'll take that any day. I am going for the King George, but that's a beautiful fine specimen of a sand whiting. Measure him up just to curiosity, it's a good 30 centimetre one. Beautiful tucker. Well, I just had a good bite in the rod holder. Let more line out. It was a false alarm this hit. Getting a few little nibbles. I think they're small fish because I've got big long shank hooks. Oh, that one there's taken off. Oh, there's a bit of, bit of uh, interest on that one. Yeah, so more bites. Just not committing. Usually the King George would come down and they'll smash the bait. Could be little pickers. Oh, so finally something good. It's taken a while. I think it's just come off. You bugger. You bugger. That was a good one. Oh my god. I think he actually fought like a flathead. Oh man, that's spewing. That was a good, good bite. Really good bite. And I'm just struggling really to find any fish today. It's too early, but I'd like to get that one fish on board straight away to break that monkey, but that was a good fish. I'm getting a few nibbles here. I'm just on the edge now for a bit of a sandy area. I'd say that was a flathead. Got something here too, nothing too big. Boy, I'm going today, anything would do right. Oh, right, well, got a herring. Ha! A herring. Goodness me. So I can get a bit more attention on this one. And there's a lot more cleaner water, so I think we're definitely in the sandy spot. Right, so this has got a bit more curry. 
A lot of head shakes. Let's hope he's not a butterfish. No, oh my God. That is massive sand whiting. Woo! That is big. I haven't seen these big ones for a while. My God. And they are very delicious. <laughs> so I'm pretty straight. Oh, just measure him up too. So he's got a decent 34 centimetres. Beautiful specimen. Let's uh, try and get a few more. The baits are just gone on this. So that's all right. I've got a new spot for the ball whiting. And the, the sand whiting, they best to put smaller baits on because then fish aren't as big as a King George. So I've actually got two, two hooks, one big one and one pretty small one, just for that. But he actually went for the big one. A so big bait means big fish. And I think I just might fish with the one because you really need a, you really need a strike it with these sand whiting. I've actually got one here, I think. Or well, something was chasing it down. There he is. Oh, he is a. Well, I didn't even know I had him on. Woo! Beautiful. So. As I said. Just think I'll just fish with the one rig. This one is a typical sand whiting one. I'll just deploy this when I actually get another strike on that one. Alrighty, so. This one it took off bit heavier than my usual sand whiting. That one there, there. Just see a bit of weed on the corner of my eye. What have we got here? All right, red mullet. Thought I was giving me a bit of curry. Yeah, no, I'll take that. Beautiful fish. So it's starting to get a nice little bag. At least the KGs have <laughs> avoided me today. It's too early. And I'm just drifting. No. Look, getting bites of this one here too. It's not recommended. But I'm filling the bites. Oh yeah, I've got him. Got him. So he's butterfishy. <laughs> yeah, he's not a not a big fish, but a bit of weight in the bottom. I put a really big sinker on there. Yeah, there you go, butterfish. That's no good. You can go back. Right, I hope this is a King George. And no, you can can't see the water, but there's a nice sand patch right between the weed beds. No, it's just a big butterfish. Man, they're powerful fighters. It's got to be a KG around here. Fish on. Nothing too big. Just curious. Because it's just a desert out today. That one's getting hit. Oh, yep. Curiosity caught the whiting. You ripper. Yeah, so he's gone for the smaller hook. As expected for the whiting. Chunky whiting. Anyway, it's good. Those sand whitings are really delicious. Good eating. I'm happy I'm starting to find them because, especially the big ones. Really terrific. I don't know if there's a fish here. Let in the rod holder. Yeah, there's a bit of boom boom. It's always a flathead. I used to fight like that. And I was right. I was right. Okay, he's chest on. Let's see if I can quickly get him off. Beautiful. Alright, so this feels good. I just dropped it. Fresh bait. Fresh rig. Could be a butterfish. 
What have we got here? That's a butterfish. Why should I get my hopes high? <laughs> I'm starting to feel like a sound like a depressed fisherman. Just can't get that target species today. And I don't want this kind of curry. Played with butterfish. Bit of weight here, bit of a dead weight. Now it's starting to fire up. Could it be? What is he? It's actually swimming towards a boat. Oh, right, oh. One of these fish again. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what these are called. He's swallowed it too. Oh, mate. That's a shame. Really weird fish. Top, some type of puff, puffer fish. Right, so I'm just moving in. On the sandy area, I might change tactics and go for King uh, for the sand mining. Some of those are pretty big. Just it's almost time up, 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock will be time to move in because the wind will pick up. I might try a bit deep area. I'm a little, little bit deeper now, but could be just um, the area. The fish have just moved on. Deeper places. Maybe they don't like the hot weather. All these theories. Still adamant, gonna still give it a crack. Well, this feels not too bad. It's not fighting as much. Yeah, it's a good whiting. Oh no, no. I've got the other line there too. God. This is a bad, bad thing. Oh, yep. I'd say he's a big butterfish. Maybe two of them. I'm not calling KGs anymore. <laughs> yeah, two butterfish. Bugger fish, not butter. Got to be a one kg amongst all this. I think it's time for a beer. Time for a beer. That's as I bring up this next butterfish. Definitely time for a beer. Let's hope this brings me some luck. Give me some KGs. Uh, nice. Alrighty. This feels good. This feels good. Oh. This feels good. It looks good. Come on. Come on. Woo! Oh my God. That is so satisfying. That is just so satisfying. And that was because of the beer and the drink. <laughs> Woo! I love it. If that's the case, here you go, KGs. <laughs> it's not a huge doggy. But I'll take it. Put him in the esky straight away. Lovely fish. Beautiful. Oh, awesome. I knew it was a, something good because it was just, didn't want to come to the surface. Well, and that line there was snagged for some reason. Oh, now this, hopefully, it's KG. Looks KG ish. That is a. Uh, oh, he is. You beauty. You ripper. Now, this one here must be a bit of reef here. I think I'm going to lose everything. Oh, no, it's come off. That's good. Bit of redemption. Yeah, a bit of weed. It's alright. Drop this one down. 
Yeah, so the beer in the water trick worked again. This guy here is a, oh, he's a modest 41 centimetre species. Straight away. It's taken me hours to catch and find them. And that's what happens. I mean, I've been going over my usual spots over and over again. Just weren't producing. Decided to do another drift a bit more further out. And the water looks really green. It's, it really looks fishy. Looks really fishy. Alrighty, let's sign off. So that's my fish catch there. Half decent size sand whiting. Beautiful. But the prize was the King George whiting. Landed two. I reckon I lost another two, but I'm still pretty happy. It's really windy. I regret staying out here. Let's go home for a cook up. Whew. So for this cookup, we're using all these three species. I really do prefer to have these fish on the bone, but I just want to try this new dish. Leave the skin on. So that's the red mullet. This bit here on the red mullet, the liver, is actually gives you a lot of flavour. So in the stock, that's all going to come out. I've still got scales on here, that's not good in my dish. King George Whitey. <clears throat> and I'm leaving the skin on too. Why not? So I'll prep up all these and I'll quickly show you what we'll be doing. Righty, so all these pieces here, turn the ribs, the bone, the head, snap that in so I can get it into the pot. Doing this here, all these off cuts. Gotta make a stock. I've already got some water in here boiling. So I'm just gonna crack these straight in here. Just extract all the flavours. Basically, not wasting anything here. Celery in there, and pepper, and salt. Put a lid on. Look at that boil of alpha, we've got 10 minutes, fresh from the garden. They're mature, look at that. Oh, and they really smell good. Garlic, half an onion. That's all right. It's chunky, it's fine, no big deal. Lift the skin on, just gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces. Especially the big fish, the King George Whiting. Ooh, a lot of tucker here. This will be going for probably the next couple of days for lunch. You never know, could even have fish for breakfast. Why not? The red mullet I'll leave as is. Tip it into the colander. up. Just in case there's any scales or bones. This other stuff I'm going to actually keep. Alrighty, let's get stuck into this. Oil. Straight away put in the onions and the garlic, even the tomatoes. No problem. Alrighty, that's looking really good. Tips. Beautiful fish stock. Chuck it in there. A bit hard to judge how much we need to put in. Some herbs, I've got some thyme. A bit of parsley. A bit of basil.
drastically throw this all in. Just a touch of Prosecco. Just tasting this broth. Very clear. Oh, it's really good. Mmm, really nice. The usual, we get the chilli. The chillies are coming really good this year. Yeah, that's it. One chilli is pretty for me. That's really cranking up too. Definitely put in a bit more this fish juice. Just let it simmer away and soak it all up. Oh yeah. So this is looking very paleish. It's done with the slight crust. Let's taste the rice. Still needs a little bit of juice just to get it cooking through. It's not quite right. Definitely needs a bit more salt. And now, time to put the fish in. Just throw it on the top. Skin side down so the flavours can get into that rice. That juice. We've actually got a lot of fish here. This will literally just steam. I close the lid. Put the red mullet over here. Just put that facing upwards. Close the lid. Whew, let's wait. Finish it off with a bit more fresh parsley. Let's have a look here. Yeah, so you can definitely see that fish is just getting cooked. Now I want to try this when that liquid sort of disappears into that rice. I actually took the lid off, let it evaporate. It's looking great. Absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, look at that. This looks fantastic. <clears throat> Let's get into it for a nice taste test. Right, I'm going to eat straight from the pan. So, excuse the mess. I'm going straight for the King George White. I'm actually going to go for the rice with the King George Whiting. It's cut in half because it's pretty hot. Oh, and a bit of tomato there as well. Oh, the rice has really sucked up all the fishy flavours. And the fish is cooked to perfection. The red mullet. A lot of people don't eat this, but I'm sure you will after this. Oh, lovely. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> See, next time, that's all I'm going to say. Don't forget Fish, tucker. Fish, lovely. tucker. Fish, tucker, man. Fish, tucker. Fish, tucker. The fish, Taco Man